Welcome back everyone to Skincare and Beauty with Perky Perkins where I do a lot of unboxings, skincare and makeup tutorials and I also do product reviews along the way. So today I am so excited because I'm going to be doing a review on a cushion foundation which is limited edition and it's just so beautiful. I didn't even want to touch it. I'm so glad though that this time around my my face is getting better. My acne has gone down quite dramatically since I changed up a few of my skincare items and the way I'm layering and I've been masking more often. So my face looks a little bit more smoother. I just still have a few bumps and a lot of darkness. But, so you're wondering, you probably saw from my title, but I'm going to be reviewing the Swal Holsh. I'm sorry, I'm butchering the name. I just cannot pronounce it cor correctly. But I'm going to be reviewing their Spring Collection Cushion Foundation. Now, again, as I mentioned, this is a limited edition foundation. And once the stay run out, pretty much it will not be remade let me pull out the packaging because i mean the box alone is just gorgeous if you look at this quilted pattern it's just so gorgeous honestly and i mean it's just breathtaking i have my tablet down below so that i could read from the notes full disclaimer this was sent to me via the company and Octoly to review it on my Instagram but I figured you know what this is not going to be sold very long and Beautylish just announced it on their website as well that they're offering it so not only is the company selling it but also through Beautylish because I looked at Sephora and it's not available at Sephora from what I could tell but I was sent shade N. 21 that's what I was sent and again as I was mentioning so according to the Beautylish website it says discover full coverage foundation that looks like your skin only better with Swal Hose perfecting cushion the convenient compact releases lightweight liquid formula to instantly diffuse fine lines uneven texture and imperfections for a fresh youthful complexion that lasts all day pigment coating dispersed technology evenly dispenses each pigment to seamlessly coat the skin to provide a smooth finish it covers imperfections, protects against UV rays, and boosts radiance without feeling cakey. Now, this has SPF 50, you guys. I'm like, whoa. So, this will be protecting you quite a bit. According to the site, it's considered a full coverage slash buildable. So, you can layer it on to the coverage that you prefer or need. In my case, it says creates a fresh, flawless coverage in seconds with an innovative cushion technology that releases the right amount of makeup for a seamless finish. Achieve an even natural results every time. Thanks to the unique puff applicator that lays down the weightless uniform veil of makeup, no mess, no hassle, no cakey heavy results. Now, it also says it comes with JAUM Balancing Complex and a Mushroom Beta Qualcomm to promote bounce, to promote bouncy, well-hydrated skin that glows, glows with vitality. And it just says to gently press it onto the skin, um, apply, it says, okay, gently press the puff applicator onto the center cushion and to release makeup, apply the makeup with a soft padding motion. Start in the center and blend outwards to the hairline. And then it just says um, apply more where blemishes might be. Now also, this particular cushion was a collaboration. They actually had um, 
I think her name was Antoinette. I'll put it on the screen because I posted it on my Instagram. I just already, I blank on names. I'm horrible at names, you guys. But anyways, this was a collaboration with an artist and they wanted to basically make the packaging to like traditional, uh, vic like vintage Korean, like scenery and stuff like that so i thought that was very beautiful and the story behind it now it as i mentioned it is limited edition it does have spf 50 and this is a higher end k beauty brand with that in mind this retails for 65 dollars usd you guys so fit 65 dollars I've already worn it before and oh my gosh, it has an amazing fragrance. I'm not sure if it's the herbs that they use because it does have Korean herbs, but the fragrance is amazing. It is heavily fragranced, but I didn't have any issues with breakouts or nothing like that, but I do want to make sure you're aware. But of course, I'll be telling you as I go. And for that $65, you also get a replacement cartridge for future use. You guys, let's get to it and let's start putting this base. So I'm going to go in with the Tatcha. First, actually, I'm going to hydrate my skin because it's been a few hours since I actually put my moisturizer. I'm going to start off with the Glow Recipe. Nice refresher. very soft mist and then I'm gonna go in with the Tatcha I'm just gonna put it on my t-zone now in case you're wondering how I got this eye look I'm gonna link the video up above because this should be the one right before this one now typically i allow my primer to sit for just about 30 seconds to make sure it starts kind of meshing into my skin but oh my god isn't this beautiful like it took me so long to even test it out for my review um because it's just so nice it does come with its own sponge it has a mirror inside and it has a protective cover down here so that way it locks everything in it does have a 12 month shelf life which is great in my case because i have quite a few foundations and look at that it's just gorgeous and as it states make sure you take your little spongy because that's what they're recommending for you to use and press it from the center and you start from the inside out. All right, so I'm gonna start with my left side because it's the worst. And I would like to mention that this does definitely have fragrance. It has like a rose fragrance in it. So if you're sensitive or anything like that, I do wanna make sure it's noted So, so far with just one dunk, and it did a pretty reasonable job covering that bad boy up. One little dunk or press, start with this side. I will say the fragrance is masking, in my opinion, the, the scent of SPF, because again, it does have SPF 50, and from my experience with other SPF foundations or products in general, that scent is super strong. So I'm wondering if that could be the reason why they did it. What do you guys think so far? taking another light dunk to start my forehead so 
not that hard, I will say that. I'm gonna bend it just a bit to do the center. So, so far so good and typically, especially when I have breakouts, my areas that are issues are right here and it's not cakey or anything. It does have a natural luminous kind of finish, but it's not overly shiny so far. It just looks fresh and you know, but I'm gonna do one more layer on the areas which have my acne and see how they cover up. I'm gonna swipe just a little bit down my neck not much because it's not like I'm going out anywhere for me this is the most I want to layer personally which was basically two full layers of product on my bottom half and just a light layer on top overall look at that coverage this you guys saw from the beginning it was dark like pitch black in all honesty I should have done like a color correcting first but I wanted to show you guys how it covered up my acne on its own without any color correctors in the beginning but I would say this is still pretty good in my opinion especially because it's close to my cheek so can't tell so far but let's see how it goes with me layering my other complexion items I just wiped off the center and just tapped it out to make sure there was no issues I just don't like foundation in my lip on my lips but I'm gonna go in with my Kosas concealers I'm gonna go in with shade 4 today want to look more natural not like super highlighted so I'm not gonna put no concealer on this blemish because I rather it stay as it is versus trying to cover it up because they're not exactly the same shade tone so I'm going to start blending out my nose. Alrighty, I think that looks pretty good now we need a little bit of powder what i've been doing as of late is i'm using my mineral powder from pure to actually set my foundations because it just gives a nice little veil of warmth and it, it doesn't make me dried out or cakey and the loose powders right now i think because my skin has changed with being in isolation it's making me cakey again and dry me out. So I'm gonna go in with my Pure 4-in-1 Mineral Powder in shade LG6. So to do my under eyes first, I'm gonna use this Moda brush, Moda Pro. The bigger brush, I'm going to use my Hank and Henry Sandra brush. I'm going to set the rest of my face. I'm 
And as you notice, I'm just doing a pressing motion as I go around, kind of like stippling. I'm not like dusting it all around because this is a pressed powder and not loose, so. I've never done this before. I'll try to get her on my nose. Because my allergies have been so bad. Oh my gosh. Like, I wouldn't fault my nose if it if it wears off from me rubbing in tissue. Ooh, that actually mattified it a little bit. Interesting. I like it so this is how my base makeup looks so far you can see that it's very nice very it's it's nearly full coverage I would personally say still like medium to full and again they did say it's blendable I mean buildable so you can always even keep it at a light coverage like if you just did a light veil um, so far my concealer layered beautifully my mineral powder layered great you guys saw at the beginning how bad my acne is right now and it did a freaking good job thus far covering that up so let me finish the rest of my makeup and i'll be back before i begin check-ins and i'm back so this is now about an hour, hour and 20 minutes after I had done my foundation application. Um, it takes some time to get all this done, you know what I mean? But so far, everything is looking really nice. At the very beginning, you guys saw how bad my acne scars and dark spots were at the beginning. So far, you can't really tell much, especially if I'm smiling. It hides with my dimples. So I don't find that personally very bad because an average person would have done a color corrector before doing any kind of foundation application anyways, or at least applied a concealer on top of it. Um, my other products layered on really, really nicely. My concealer area was really nice. Um, I have no dry patches whatsoever, which is a miracle because I forgot what was the last foundation I reviewed. This whole section, because my acne was bad, of course, at that time, the whole section was so dried out, I had to drench my skin before to show you guys that it could calm down and get moisturized. This time, I only set it very lightly with this guy right here, which is the Glow Recipe. It is nowhere near as, I guess you could say, intense with hydration as the Slay All Day, which is perfectly fine. That's why I was looking for more of a mister instead of a quench. I guess that's a good way to differentiate the two. But my makeup still looks stunning. Um, if you want to see how I completed the look again, I'll post, I'll link the video up top and I will link it down in the description so you can see how I got the rest of my face done. But yeah, so far I really love how it looks. Again, I'm going to give it maybe about four or five hours because it's not like we're doing much at home anyways. It's currently 3.30 in the afternoon, so I will give it till 7.30, 8 o'clock to do a final check-in before I wash off my makeup and let you guys see what the final results are. But again, so far, so good. I really love how it came out. 
I do have some texture on my nose that's showing, but I did go ham with my highlighter. And to be honest, I need one of those little suction things to get those white heads out. It's been aggravating me. I was just talking to my friend about it because my nose is so bad with like white heads. I love, I'm loving for this so far. Again, it is fairly fragrance so do be mindful of that but it does have SPF 50 which is very protective once we get out of these houses and get to get some sunlight the only drawback I will say right now is there's only three shades available and I'm using the um, the light pink so I'm using the lightest shade which is shade 21 um, so that's the only drawback I know in Korea they don't usually have the largest spectrum when it comes to complexion products so you know eventually I hope someday they'll expand that um, but for now it's it's a difficult situation when you're reviewing a product from there because I've had people going on me about like well you know they only offer this and blah 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 but it's like that's that's the culture and eventually they will pick it up and change especially if they're selling worldwide or at least in the United States basically you know what I mean over here it speaks volumes um, for inclusivity so hopefully sooner than later they'll pick it up and start adding a larger spectrum for shade ranges but anyways i've talked long enough i appreciate you guys and in case you guys don't come back for my final check-in please remember to hit that subscribe button and also don't forget i do have two active giveaways at this time so make sure you guys enter i will pin them up above and i will pin them down in the description cards and if you have not subscribed to my blog please subscribe to my blog it's www.perkyperkins.com and i will also have it linked down below but anyways i'll see you guys in a few hours so I wanted to show you guys how the foundation's been wearing. Um, again, it's been about eight hours. I don't know, it's 10, 10, 30. So look at my face. So far, the coverage is pretty well. Um, I've had a little bit of breakup on the sides of my nose and where my highlighter actually, it's kind of lifted but I kind of think that was the highlighter that got a little chalky basically at the end my chin did wear out a little bit faster than the other sides but when you think about it it's been a long day I've been cleaning luckily I didn't cook dinner today but I've been cleaning I did make a late lunch for my kids and stuff like that it's been a busy day I would, like I mentioned in the beginning, this is like a medium coverage foundation in my opinion. You can build it up to like a medium full, but not full full because you do have to layer it a bit. But overall, it left me with a really beautiful finish. It's been wearing down throughout the day very nicely where it looks even. My like I said, my blush and my highlighter are the items that basically look the worst at this time. Because even my acne spots, which you guys saw at the beginning, were horrific. So, is it worth the buy? It's $65. It's limited edition. If you like collecting items, definitely it's a must buy. Um, again, overall, I think it's a beautiful foundation. Um, if you don't have the money, because you know, right now times are hard, it's not a necessity because there's so many other foundations out there which can do the same job. Though I have, I would like to mention, I have reviewed other cushion foundations 
and for the same or similar I should say quality um, similar similar quality and availability they were still running 45 to 50 dollars for a cushion for foundation so basically to add 15 20 bucks for a custom packaging that is really one of a kind if you're going to choose between the two i would say this was a better deal but anyways thank you all so very much for watching i greatly appreciate each and every one of you i hope you guys are safe and doing well again don't forget to enter my giveaways and i will catch you all in the next one Goodbye.